Well, hello YouTube. Uh, yeah, uh, just a little explanation on the tides. Uh, the tides in west, on the west coast, uh, Vancouver Island in particular, uh, we have tides up to 11 feet. A king tide will be 15 feet. Uh, it makes navigation very difficult. And uh, the tides kind of fascinate me. The ocean is alive, folks, and uh, yeah, you get to love it after a while. Anyway, I, I did a time lapse on the tides for you, and it's at my boat launch at Ladysmith Harbor. It's not the greatest place to do it, but it does show you the tides. We tried to speed it up a little so, uh, you know, it's not very long. Uh, it's kind of interesting. The tide was uh, uh, 2.5 meters from low tide to high tide. I went out and uh, started filming at uh, 8.30 in the morning and that was absolute low tide and the high tide was that day and it changes every day folks so uh, it was 5 o'clock at high tide so uh, we took 6 pictures an hour over a period of 8 hours and uh, and put it together in kind of a video form or time-lapse form for you. So, yeah, I think it's kind of interesting, and we'll do other ones in other harbors. Uh, hopefully we'll have a list of them so the boaters can take a look at them and get an idea of, of that particular harbor, uh, what happens to the tides. They're pretty much the same around the island in different harbors. There's anywhere from three feet to 11 feet. Uh, there was a king tide the other day. I normally have 11 feet of water in a low tide under my boat, and I had five feet of water. So, you know, it can be a really drastic effect if you, say, anchor off a beach, thinking, uh, you know, you got uh, eight feet of water under your boat, and you end up uh, walking to the water because, uh, yeah. It went down so much, but it's happened to me once. Uh, yeah, it's a long story and I won't get into it. sailing. I got to do a little work on the boat. Upcoming video um, shortly. We'll be crossing Georgia Strait for the first time. Uh, I didn't want to do it single-handed, so my son's coming with me on a, I believe we were doing it on the 27th of August or something. Uh, we'll sail to from Ladysmith to Gibson's Harbor. Uh, stay overnight in Gibson's. And that Saturday afternoon, we'll leave around 1 o'clock and we'll get into Gibson's hopefully around supper time and uh, sleep there the night and get up early in the morning and sail back to Ladysmith Harbor. Because that cook of mine, he has to get up at 
3.30 in the morning on Monday, so we want to get them into the harbor around supper time on Sunday night. Anyway, looking forward to showing you that one. Uh, stay tuned. And like I say, keep coming back.